mallard ducks, with their iconic quack and vibrant plumage, are more than just familiar sights in our parks and ponds. These birds are a marvel of nature, possessing a range of fascinating qualities and behaviors. Let's delve into the world of mallards and discover what makes them so special. One of the most notable features of the mallard is its striking appearance. The male, or drake, is renowned for its glossy green head, a stark contrast against its chocolate brown chest. This vivid coloration is not merely for show. It plays a crucial role in attracting mates. The female mallard, in comparison, sports a more subdued palette of mottled brown, an evolutionary adaptation that provides camouflage while she is nesting. This difference in coloration between the sexes is known as sexual dimorphism, a common trait among many bird species. Mallards are a dabbling species, meaning they feed mainly at the water's surface rather than diving underwater. Their diet is impressively varied, encompassing everything from aquatic plants and insects to small fish. This adaptability in their diet allows them to thrive in a wide array of environments, from natural wetlands to man-made urban ponds. During the breeding season, mallard pairs are formed, often following elaborate courtship displays. The male showcases a variety of behaviors, such as head bobbing and grunt whistles, to woo potential mates. After mating, the female embarks on the lone task of nesting and incubating the eggs. Mallard nests are usually well hidden in vegetation near water and are lined with grasses and feathers plucked from the female's own body. The eggs of the mallard have an incubation period of about 28 days. Once hatched, the ducklings are precocial, meaning they are relatively mature and mobile from the moment of birth. Within just a day of hatching, the ducklings are led to water by their mother, where they begin feeding themselves, though they remain under her careful watch and guidance. Mallard ducks are also known for their impressive migratory behaviors. While some populations remain sedentary, others undertake long migrations to warmer climates during winter. These migrations are crucial for their survival and also contribute to the ecological dispersal of plant seeds, which stick to their bodies or are ingested. The social structure of mallards outside the breeding season is equally interesting. They often form large flocks, providing safety in numbers from predators. However, these flocks have a hierarchy, with dominant ducks often getting the first pick of food and resting spots. Despite their social nature, mallards display a form of seasonal monogamy during the breeding season. A male and female pair will stay together throughout the season, coordinating in the rearing of their young. However, this partnership typically dissolves at the end of the season, with new pairs forming the following year. Mallards play a vital role in their ecosystems. They contribute to the health of wetland habitats through their feeding and nesting activities. Their diet helps control insect populations, and they aid in the dispersal of aquatic plants. Furthermore, mallards serve as a crucial food source for a range of predators, including larger birds, fish, and mammals. Adaptability is a key trait of the mallard. They are among the few species of waterfowl that have adapted well to urban environments, often found in city parks and on busy waterways. This adaptability has allowed them to thrive in areas where other species may struggle. However, mallards face several threats, including habitat loss due to urbanization and pollution in water bodies. Conservation efforts are essential to ensure the stability and health of mallard populations. Mallards have been extensively studied in the fields of ornithology and ecology thanks to their widespread distribution and significant population size. Research on these ducks has provided valuable insights into bird behavior, migration patterns, and the impacts of environmental changes on avian species. The vocalizations of mallards are quite distinctive and serve various purposes. The classic quack sound is typically associated with the female mallard, used in different contexts such as signaling distress or communicating with her ducklings. The male mallard, on the other hand, has a quieter, more raspy call. These sounds are integral to their communication and social interactions. Mallards hold a significant place in human culture and folklore, often symbolizing various themes like adaptability, motherhood, and resourcefulness. Their depiction in art and literature spans centuries, reflecting their enduring appeal and familiarity to people across the world. 
In recreational contexts, mallards are a popular subject for bird watchers and nature photographers, thanks to their abundant numbers and relative ease of observation. They are also a common species in waterfowl hunting, a practice that has led to regulations and conservation measures to ensure sustainable hunting and population management. Educationally, mallards are an excellent resource for teaching about wildlife and conservation. Their ease of observation makes them ideal subjects for introducing students and the general public to ecological concepts and the importance of preserving natural habitats. Mallard ducks have also been involved in various scientific studies, contributing to our understanding of avian diseases, genetics, and behavior. They are often used as a model species in scientific research due to their adaptability and the ease with which they can be observed in both wild and controlled environments. In terms of behavior, mallards are intriguing for their complex social interactions and mating rituals. The post-breeding season sees large gatherings of mallards, often mixing with other duck species in what are known as molting congregations. During this time, they shed their feathers and grow new ones, a process that renders them temporarily flightless and more vulnerable to predators. Their migratory patterns are another area of interest. Not all mallard populations migrate, but those that do can travel substantial distances. These migrations are not only vital for their survival, but also impact the ecosystems they pass through and the ones they temporarily inhabit. Mallard ducks also play a significant role in the food web. They are prey for a variety of animals, including larger birds of prey, mammals, and even larger fish. This predation is a natural part of the ecosystem, helping to maintain healthy populations and balance within their habitats. In urban environments, mallards have become accustomed to human presence, often approaching people in parks and public spaces. This behavior demonstrates their adaptability, but also highlights the importance of responsible wildlife feeding and interaction practices. Conservation efforts for mallards are vital, not just for the species itself, but for the health of wetland ecosystems as a whole. These efforts include habitat preservation, pollution control, and research into the impacts of climate change on their habitats and migratory patterns. If you learned something from this video, please leave a comment below, click the like button, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.